The video you're about to watch was actually filmed a while back. At the time of this recording, I did not know what was causing this tarantula to act as such, but now I know. It's been affected by some kind of parasite slash bacteria in crickets. When fed with crickets, the parasite slash bacteria is then transferred to the spider. After I found out, I've completely stayed away from crickets. Guys, I need a little bit of advice over here. So this is my Sirico Palma Rubroni Tense and she is not acting herself at all. Now she has been like this for quite a few months and before this, she only took dead food. So what I had to do was I had to pre-kill my food and then I put it in and then she will start to scavenge on it. However, this past couple months, she has not been eating. Okay, maybe not a couple months, maybe one or two months. Yeah, she has not been eating and I mean, her water dish is full, it is clean and she just, she just doesn't doesn't want to eat. I have no idea why. I have no idea what caused her to be like this. Let me show you. So this is a USB thingy. Let me just tap her back a little bit. Look at this. Look at that. She doesn't really move. Her hands are like, I mean her feet, they're like crawling. She's like crawling onto the ground. I'm not quite sure what's gotten into her. I mean, I could literally, I could pick her up like right now and it'll be just perfectly fine. Look at this. You see? So, um, the thing is when she's on my hand, I'm afraid that this may be a death curl, but I'm wondering what caused her to be like this. Now, before this, she was on dry substrate because I read that these guys require dry substrate. But then after she was in this condition, after seeing her in this condition, I thought maybe she would need some moisture because maybe she's a little bit dehydrated i don't know i mean despite the water dish you never know so what i did was i put her on damp substrate and when i put her on the damp substrate she was doing perfectly fine she was doing fine for about a week until she is back to this position again now i'm not the only one that's facing something like this because my friend coincidentally he just texted me yesterday saying that his pamphobetias is also facing the same situation and i was like yo okay i thought it was only me that is facing this. It must be something in the environment, maybe the air, maybe the water that we are using, or even maybe the food that we're feeding them. I'm not sure. Is this considered DKS? Because I've not seen a tarantula with DKS before. If you don't know what DKS means, I mean, I, I don't even remember what it stands for, so I'll just write it like down here. So this is DKS and it's something that affects tarantulas to a point where they cannot control their leg movements and then they will eventually die because they will not eat. But this girl did not eat before I put her on the damn substrate. I mean, she ate like a week after I put her on damn substrate. But then after that week, she just stopped eating. She just ate once. She only ate once after I rehoused her into this enclosure. But yeah, now she's not eating and now she is showing me this. She's showing me this behavior and my friend is facing the exact same thing and he is super curious as well because this, this over here is the first time that both of us are facing something like this. I've not come across a tarantula who is in this position, like death curl, but then still moving because usually when a tarantula is in death curl, they'll die within a day or two, right? But then this girl has been like this for over a week. Yes over a week and can someone just tell me what's going on right here because I'm pretty worried. This is my only Sericopelma rubroni tense because these guys, they are known to be pretty crazy eaters. When you put something in, something moves, they detect the movement and they go for it. But this girl, total opposite. She's the total opposite from what her relatives are. The other Sericopelma rubroni tense. As well as my friends Pamphobetes. You guys know Pamphobetes, right? Those guys are insane eaters as well. The moment you drop something in, boom, they go for it. And the thing is two of the most aggressive eaters are like this i mean you look at my arizona blonde she's the most gentle thing ever like the most gentle tarantula you could ever lay your eyes on i mean when you give her food she just doesn't like grab she, she takes it really slowly the aggressive ones are the ones that are not being aggressive now i don't know guys i'm calling out for the experienced keepers right now and i don't know could you guys tell me what's going on i mean by the time i upload this video it may probably be too late already because i mean look at her stage now no, she, she's not doing very well and I don't think that she will recover. But for my friends, he told me that his Pamphobetes is like this when you put him on the substrate, I mean put her on the substrate. But when he takes her up to his hand, she walks normally. But then as soon as you put her back into the enclosure, she walks all like gibberish and all funnyish and yeah, like that. I mean like, like this. So can you guys just tell me please, I am in a desperate situation. Probably not for this girl, but for my friend at least because things don't look very good. Yeah.
<sighs> However, for my friend, I hope that he will still be able to revive his girl and it'll survive because these two species, Sericopama rubronitans as well as that Pamphobetes that he has, is pretty rare in this country. And I've only seen one rubronitans in this country, which is this one. This is probably the only one that's in this country. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, it'll be super sad if this girl passed. I mean, when this girl passed because... I really don't know guys. I seriously don't know because all my other tarantulas are in the same situation I mean, they're in this not not situation like in this position But they're all housed pretty much like this the same substrate. I mean a different height But I mean it couldn't be the height could it? I mean, it's just a height <laughs> The same water dish the same water the same food Maybe this one got a wrong food like my friend did mention to me that when you keep crickets when one cricket eats a dead cricket and then that tarantula eats that cricket that ate the dead cricket it's possible that the tarantula could catch the DKS. I'm not sure how true that is, but if that's the case, then huh, I guess this girl must have eaten one of those bad crickets, which is unfortunate. Which is why also I don't like to use crickets, but I have to use it because I just got my new Dubia Roach colony and I'm waiting for them to establish. So yeah. I'm stuck with crickets and superworms right now. But yeah, that'll be it just to show you guys what's happening and that I need, I mean, me and my friend, we need some advice as well as some input on what's happening right here because this is the first time we are experiencing something like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Post your suggestions in the comments below. Peace. Thank you.